Welcome back to La Master Tech. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use microphones as sound detection inputs for your Arduino projects. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to use a three pin digital input microphone to detect sound and control outputs based on those with an Arduino. If you want the microphone that I show in this project, they're really affordable. I'll link to a five pack for $6 on Amazon below, but let's talk about the physical build of my project here. You can do everything I do in this video with just one. If all you're really trying to do is proof of concept, how these work. But if you'd like to follow along exactly, I use two microphones, one where I adjust the sound detection sensitivity potentiometer pretty low so it picks up even quiet volume and then the other one I turn pretty high so I have to talk very loudly to get the second microphone to trigger to register that it's on and so for the physical build each microphone needs one pin hooked up to 5 volt power from the Arduino one pin hooked up to ground from the Arduino and then the third pin which will be our digital input pin runs back to any digital pin on the Arduino I use pins two and four if you use different ones just make sure you update your sketch accordingly when we get there. And then the only other thing I do is I tie two LEDs to digital output pins 12 and 13 and then through ground going through a 220 ohm resistor so that we don't overpower the LEDs and smoke them out. Then just make sure to connect the five volt and ground power from your Arduino back to one of the rails on your breadboard. And we are ready to look at the sketch for this project. Okay, so the code is really straightforward. Just make sure that you define a constant integer for all four of the pins we're using, the loud and quiet input pins, and then also the red and green LED output pins. And then we just need an integer variable to track the state of our quiet pin and our loud pin so that we can use those accordingly in our loop section. In the setup section of the sketch, just make sure to set the sound pins as inputs, the LED pins as outputs, and use serial.begin at a baud rate of 9600 if you want to be able to track statuses of your project. It's always a pretty good idea to include this in your project. Now the loop section of this code is really straightforward, but an important thing to understand to make this make sense is that the microphones read a one when they're not picking up volume above that certain threshold. And and they go to a zero when they are above the noise threshold. So this is called a normally closed device in the world of controls and automation. It means it's ordinarily sending a one normally on and when the condition that causes a change of state happens, then it goes to a zero. So normally closed, normally one. Um, but basically all we want to do is at the start of every loop, read the state of our quiet and loud pins from their digital pins into those variables we made. And then the rest of the loop section is determining what to do to the LEDs based on those two readings. So to start out, if they are both zeros, that means that we are giving a volume that has been a loud enough threshold to break both microphones to trigger our more sensitive and less sensitive one. I'm going to just trigger the green LED and turn off the red LED if we're at that point. And then I'm also going to print into my serial window loud. And then because this is less common, I wanna hold its state for a little bit longer. So I'm gonna delay 100 milliseconds or a tenth of a second. And then in the next one, which is going to be just the quiet pin activated, which is gonna be much more common since that's way more sensitive, I, it's gonna look very similar, only now we're going to turn just the red pin on um, and we're going to delay it for just 10 milliseconds, so a hundredth of a second. This is because I want the low volume one to be much more responsive and I want the loud volume one to be more clear when it gets triggered. It's really just a personal preference thing. Obviously as a programmer, as an Arduino hobbyist, whatever, change it however you want. The next scenario I'm gonna handle is actually going to be that we're getting the loud pin but not the quiet pin. This would be weird, so I'm going to turn both pins on and print something like, wait, what, or error, because that's not supposed to happen in normal conditions. So it's good to catch this fringe scenario. Maybe we can do some debugging with it. And then the last scenario is that it's basically silent in your room, neither pin is active. We'll turn both LEDs off and we'll just print silent to the serial window. And that's really it for the sketch. I'm just gonna upload 
upload it. If you want that exact sketch, you'll be able to find it at a GitHub link in the description below this video as well. And let's take a look at this project and see what we get. Okay, so once you've uploaded, hopefully what you can see is that whatever LED you linked to your more sensitive microphone, in my case, it's the red LED, is going on and off constantly with the same pace at which you're talking, but the green LED is waiting for much more volume. So if I get in closer to the green LED and forgive the noise, if I talk loud, then you can see the green LED starts to go on more frequently. And again, these microphones have a small Phillips head screw terminal that you can adjust the sensitivity of. So if you want one to basically trigger if any noise goes on, even a whisper, and the other one to trigger at regular voice volume, all you have to do is adjust the potentiometer with a little bit of guess and check on your side as well. Okay, so there you have it, short and sweet. That is how you use a sound input module with an Arduino. Please let me know in the comments below what you'd like to see next on the channel, or if you had any questions about this project. Project. As always, thank you everyone for watching, leaving likes on the video, subscribing to the channel. Until next time, good luck with your projects. Thanks. Bye.